to help me with that, I would like you to welcome master mentalist. I mean, he's America's master mentalist. He's incredible. He's a really good friend of mine, and he's going to amaze you while I get ready for the rest of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage my great friend, Mr. John Stetson. <laughs> Hi! Good, you're speaking with me tonight. Well, my name is John Stetson, and it's true, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Scary thought for some of you, isn't it? But tonight, oh, tonight, I want to play. Oh, I want to play. Your mind loves games. And tonight, I want to play some games, games of mind-to-mind -mind contacts. Want to play? How about the rest of you? <laughs> Good. You know, uh, the other day I was, uh, I was reading actually uh, psychology today, uh, yesterday, and it said that two thirds of all Americans are incapable of abstract thought. Can you imagine? Well, I guess most of you can't, can you? But the point is this. Tonight I thought it would be fun to turn the tables. This is what I mean. I think it would be fun if I were to send you a thought and see if you could read my mind. Let's get ready. Each and every one of you, a nice deep breath. And lend us the use of your imaginations as you imagine yourself sitting in a movie theater with a big blank screen up in front of you. In a moment, I'm gonna project something and see if it ends up on your screen. I'm going to start with a number. It's going to be a two-digit number. This number will not be higher than 50. Both digits will be odd, and both digits will be different. Focus, catch that number now. Good. I was warming up with the number 37. Did anybody go that way? Oh, you, 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 and you, you, and you. I think this is going to be the start to an outstanding evening. Now, some of you didn't get it, because quite frankly, some of you didn't do it. I know who you are. So we'll try it one more time, because when you get a little bit, it feels good. So let's play. One more time. Focus. Another two-digit number. This time higher than 50. Both digits even, and both digits different. That time, I was going for 68. How'd we do? Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. I like the guy over there who said close, like it was my fault. <laughs> but you know, there's another lady. I, I'm picking up some really interesting energies tonight. And there's another lady. I think she's sitting uh, somewhere over here. Now, you've been thinking of a number tonight, haven't you? You yeah. have? Stand on up for us. They'll give you a nice round of applause. They're very nice people. <laughs> Ryan has the microphone there for you. Now, you have had a number in mind for quite some time, yes? Yes. Because actually, you were asked to think of a number, but you certainly weren't told what number to think of, correct? Yes. Yes. You didn't tell anybody, right? Correct. This has been locked in your mind. Correct. A deep, dark secret. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love the hesitation. I want you to look at me, please, as we focus on this, because this is crazy. <laughs> You're good. Where are you from? Encino, California. Sorry? Encino, California. No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, my friends. Yes. 16 squares, 16 boxes, 16 numbers. Which box do you see your number inside? Later that same day, <laughs> you don't see it. Some people think this is not a good moment. But in order for me to not to know, not know what she's thinking, it's imperative I know what she doesn't think. 
You're a Virgo, aren't you? Yes? I, no, but can I interrupt you for a second? No. Um, John. You're on the cusp? This is my sister. Yeah. She's a Virgo. And, and she she's been a thinking number. of a number. She. Oh, yeah. good. You sit down. Let me talk to her. <laughs> sister, stand. So you see your number, right? I actually don't. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but what, what number were you thinking of? This is freaking me out. 43. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You're the Virgo. I am, yes. Born September, somewhere between the 10th and the 13th. Correct. Yes, I think you were born the 12th? Yes. Okay, let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> 43, your number. Tonight, my friends, is about expanding your mind just a little bit. So let's do that very thing. I have 23 over here. 23 plus 11 would give me 34. Plus 5 is 39, plus another 4 would give me 43, the number you were thinking of, which is kind of weird if you think about it, and quite frankly, I do. Say, 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 19, 19 plus 24, last time I checked, was 43. Oh. Say 12 is 22 plus 9 is 64 plus 9 is 64 plus 9 is 43. Cool part is that 23 is 1 plus 12 plus 9 is 63 plus 43. That's why I'm thinking 64 plus 5 is 63 plus 9 is 63 plus 43. Friday, I'm thinking 64 plus 5 is 63 plus 43. 9 plus 64 plus 5 is 63 plus 43. Is it possible? My people, is it possible? Is it possible diagonally? I don't know. Let's look. 7 plus 23 plus 9 is 63 plus 9 is 63 plus 42. How about any four boxes connecting anywhere on this bad boy? Oh, please, Hammy, you're hurting him. Look, 23, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 43. 9, 6, 4, 9, 8, 43. 9, 6, 4, 9, 8, 43. 9, 6, 4, 5, 8, 43. How about the four in the middle? You're killing me. 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11, 43. And just for you, just for you, beautiful sisters, the four corners roll time say 23 plus 7 plus 9, and that's 43. And not only that, these are next week's California State Lottery numbers. So. Play them and be somebody. Thank you for taking that from me. And let's give a lovely lady a nice round of your applause. Thank you, my dear, for playing. Speaking of players, there are three other folks who have been given envelopes to play a little mind game with me tonight. And I believe you actually were one of those people, yes? So you have one. I believe uh, a gentleman here has one. And I believe you might have one as well, yes? Well, stand on up. Come on up to the stage and get a wonderful round of applause. And let's keep this party going. How about, uh, how about if you come up and join us too, yeah? Don't be, yeah, I should stand up, don't be shy. Oh, and over there, lovely, oh yeah, come on down. Let's give these ladies a nice round of applause. We have seats, we have seats, we have seats. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And as they come, I introduced my old family friend. I'm actually a third generation doing this kind of work, and in my family, we use the crystal. The crystal is thoughts and energies fly through the air. Now, I know there are some people in the room who aren't quite sure what I'm talking about, so I'll explain it. Uh, we all know people. We all know people, when they walk into the room, the room lights up. It feels great to be around these people. They make us feel good, and that's the way we like to feel, good. Conversely, there are other people <laughs> who walk into a room and suck all the life right out of it. Please don't look at anyone you're with tonight. It'll ruin the evening. Yes, there are those people who kind of... I hope you enjoy the show, sir. Um, and, <laughs> and as soon as I take out the crystal, you know, I get queries, questions. Apparently, there's a gentleman in the room. This is good. A gentleman in the room who has an interesting question. Apparently he's seen two women, and he thinks he'd like to get married. His question, get this, who will be the lucky one? <laughs> Sir, I will not identify you for your personal protection, but I will answer your question. You're going to marry Susan. Karen will be the lucky one. These nice folks were given envelopes. Now, the ladies were asked uh, personal questions. 
they were. And uh, handed index cards, you wrote them down, sealed them inside those envelopes. Uh, the gentleman was asked for cash. <laughs> You'd think we were asking for a kidney, but eventually he whipped out a $1 bill, which we appreciate more than somewhat. And uh, we'll get into the details later. You held it yourself, you folded it up, you put it in the envelope, you didn't want anyone to get near it. It was well guarded by yourself, and I love it. But you, my friend, have the thought of a, of a, of a film in mind, don't you? Yes. yes. You're thinking of a favorite movie. Focus on that movie for us. Uh, gather up all of your envelopes, if you please. Just put, put them down to one end or the other. Focus, focus, focus. May I please? Uh, mix these. You could just put that other paper away. You can make that. Yeah. I like the way you think. You have a strong mind. My gosh. You were, uh, you were born on a Tuesday, yes? Go home and look it up. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. Because you're, you're a Taurus, yeah? Yeah, because that, yeah. Um, I'm going to say somewhere between April 17, 22. Yeah, you were born April, look here. Oh, that's 20. Yeah, good. Now, um, I'd like to thank you all, by the way, for not feeling it's appropriate to respond in any way, shape, or form verbally or otherwise. No, 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 no. Because ever since America's got talent has come out of the scene, applause has been totally devalued in this great nation of ours. It means absolutely nothing. I like what you do, a room full of highly intelligent people who stare at me like this. That is engagement, my friends, and that's what I live for, so I thank you for it. Now, meanwhile, back in your head, you're thinking of a, of a movie. Do you remember someone not, uh, the last time you saw this, you didn't see it all the way through, did you? Yeah, I know. Tr trust me, you didn't, you didn't. It's her mind, I'm just visiting. Um, oh dear. Do you remember someone not agreeing with you with this movie when you said how much you liked it one time? Oh, I know, gosh, you went through a lot with that, didn't you? Are those envelopes mixed? Are you feeling any kind of pulsation or vibration that's making you feel good about that woman? Are you? You are? Which one? Okay. I never argue with someone as powerful as you. It's crazy. Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. I know. And not only that, not only that, I had it all the time. Wow. It's crazy time up here. It's crazy time up here. Hand them to her. I want you to use all of your powers and all of your skills to hold one envelope in each hand. Face the audience and then tell us which one feels like money. This one. I don't know what it, hey, all I know is women are much better at this than men. That's all I'm going to say. Women and children can. Could you change? Yeah, can I change? Should you change? I think not. Okay. <laughs> Sir, you folded this bill. I, I never touched your money. I never saw the face of your bill, did I? Open that up if you, if, if you will. This is crazy time. Yes. Ooh. No, no, no. You want more. I know you want more. Sir, open that bill. Look at the face. I never saw that face. That is George Washington, correct? Yes. Yeah. And right next to George's big old presidential head is a serial number, isn't there? Yeah. 
Yes. That would be good. Focus on it, please. Sir, I respectfully ask, are you in the first letter or the first number? Okay, answer me silently is good. <laughs> you should answer out loud, because otherwise I'm the only one that can hear you, but that's okay. This is a, well, you know, sir, if I tell you the letters, it's a tad more impressive for the audience. Um, I'll go for it. I'll go for it from here on in, you know. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's play. Let's play. Um, bum, 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 bum. There's a, there's a, I think there's a G at the end of that, right? Yeah. You know, I told my father years ago I was going to attempt this, and he said to me, Johnny, you're an idiot. And I said, but dad, I think I could do this. And he said, every day you can do this? And I said, no. And he said, you're an idiot. I said, yeah, but when it works, it'll be great. And he said, you're an idiot. So every time I attempt this, I feel my father is somewhere looking down at all of us. He's not dead. It's incredibly condescending. Now, anyway, uh, getting back to you, sir. That last letter is a G, is that correct? Let's go back to the numbers in the beginning. I believe it starts with a seven, is that correct? And that's followed by a three. And that's followed by a six. Yes, and that's followed by, quick, what do you think? Two. No, it was a seven, but you were only off by five. You're doing good. Um, huh. Oh, yeah, no, don't worry, you're doing great. Focus on those last four numbers. Do you have them, sir? Please, out loud, what are they? 8204. 8204. Let's give these two folks a nice round of applause as they go back to their seats. Thank you so much. But you, my dear, oh, you, you had a very interesting question to think of the name of the first boy you ever kissed. This was before high school, yes? Mm. It was a Friday. Mm. Did it happen sometime around your birthday? It did, yeah, because that was uh, October 20, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I know. Uh, I gotta answer your question. When you got home, did Louise know? Her mom. Louise knew everything, kid. I'm sorry. She knew. She knew. Do you know where this guy is today? You do? When's he getting out? No, no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. But let me ask you this would you be surprised? I mean, really surprised if he were to walk? through that door right now. Me too. I'd be the first one out of here. Are you kidding? That would be crazy. But if he did, if he did, you would look at him and you would go, oh my gosh, that's him, the first boy I ever kissed. And his name? Is Bruce, yes? Fantastic. Thank you so much. Let's give another lovely gal another lovely round of applause. Oh, you, my friend, you fascinate me. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do this. Put your head sit down. Yes. And your first name? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Say hi to Debbie. Debbie, I'm going to ask you to try something crazy with us tonight. I want you to focus. Now, I don't know if you know this exactly or not, but I'd like you to focus on the time you were born. Ooh. And is this thought percolating in your head right now? Outstanding. I'm wondering if there's a gentleman in the front who may have a watch similar to mine, where the stem can be pulled out and we can change the time. Don't all jump up at once, all you nice guys. The money guy will play with us. Could you go get that from him, please? Yes. 
Yes, this will be magnificent. So what I'd like you to do is to first of all, admire the watch. It is a beautiful watch. And make sure you're ready, ready, ready to play the game. Okay. Are you ready? Can you pull the stem out of that watch? I don't, well, I'm sorry, I'll. Can you teach me? Right? I can teach you. <laughs> and see, it moves one way and uh -huh. it moves the other way, oh, right? Oh, that's all you want me to do. I can do that. I, 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 know, I know you can. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, so I'll tell you what. Come on over here. Okay. I'm going to uh, show you. Now, this is cool because you're in charge of time. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I like that. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, you see, you can move it one way, you can move it the other way. You are in charge of time and it is the freakishly weirdest feeling you will ever have in your life, second. Okay. Okay? <laughs> so take this, stare at her and begin to spin. Spin like the wind. Look here. Look here. You can stop spinning any time you like, because this is crazy. Now, you were born in July, yeah? Okay, good, that'll help me. No. Face forward. Nice loud voice, tell them what time you were born. 7.30 p.m. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say, I wonder what time the watch says. What's that? Close. No, you get it. Am I reading it right? Yeah, you're reading it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Funny thing about these watches, they go around I like this. I, I know. I right? know it's my fault. I should have borrowed a phone and 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 someone older. But you know, know. what do I know? I know it's my fault. It's my fault. You see, you were holding it like this, where oh, I don't yeah. know what it looked. No, I didn't get it, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The two of you have felt an incredible connection up here, haven't you? Yes, the best of them. I know. Both of you stand up while I return this. Thank you, sir, it'll never keep good time again. <laughs> I shall pose you like this. Perfect. Yes, hand down. <clears throat> Ladies, this is something you were never going to forget the longest day you live. It's about trust. It's about energy. It's about love. Let's play. I'd like both of you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and record. Record anything you physically feel. I'll be nearby. I'll be around you. But I will not be physically touching you in any way, shape, or form. That might be the closest I would come to you. But it's extremely important that you record Record, record everything. Record the slightest touch. Interesting. I'd like you both to face the front of the room. Assume the position. It was the other one. Okay, good, it's fine. I know, I'm relaxed. If you felt you were at all touched on that extended arm 
raise your other hand all the way up like this. Yeah. Now, if you felt you were touched more than once, close the fingers, form a fist on the hand that's up there. Yeah. Hello, this one. Hi. That's my fault, I picked her. Um, now, with those closed fingers, show us how many times, indicate with those fingers, how many times you felt touched on that arm. Interesting. Okay. If you were felt anywhere else, just stick up your index finger and show us where. Hmm, yeah. Now, let's ask your friends in the audience. You all saw me touch her with the handkerchief, yes? Did I touch her? No, actually, I'm making you look really good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't feel a thing. I did. Oh, you felt it all then. Pull the bell. Shame. Pull the bell. Straight ahead. Please stick your arm. Because right now, we're going to end our time together by showing you something, and I promise you're never going to forget for the rest of your life. Ladies, close your eyes. Felt me touch you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Did you feel that happen? No. It just kind of went by itself. Mm. Interesting. So I think at this point, ladies and gentlemen, the best thing for these two women to do, these two fabulous women uh -huh. who've been helping me tonight, who deserve a marvelous round of your applause. would be for each of them to go back to their seats and think about what they've done. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for working with us tonight. What can I say? I love this crowd. Thank you so very much for being so kind. My name is John Stetson. And remember, I know what you're thinking. Good night and God bless. Welcome.